Okay, hello. My name is Aditya Bayputranto, and I'm Associate Technical Advisor at Sinex Metro Data Indonesia. And today, we will learn about how to create DHCP server at Virtual Smart Zone. So, uh, basically, this step is uh, we I recommend it uh, not do not create DHCP server at Virtual Smart Zone because it will uh, make the smart zone is very uh, the it's consume maximum RAM at smart zone. So I suggest if it use DHCP, you must use external DHCP. But for training purpose, I suggest using uh, internal DHCP server. So the prerequisite about this activity is the access point must already broadcasted SSID and the user must already con connected to SSID. Okay, let's get started. Okay, from dashboard, you need to go to this services and profiles and then from services and profiles, we need to go to DHCP and map. First, we must create the DHCP full in here. Uh, we must select the zone and create. So, then we must uh, give name for DHCP pool. I think DHCP test. And the VLAN is one. The subnet network uh, one. 192.168.1.0 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and pull start address is 192.168.1.10 and the end of the pool is 192.168.1.10 uh 50 primary dns ip is 8.8.8.8 the secondary is 1.1.1.1 okay and it's already created Test. Okay, uh, I enable the HCP service on access point. Enable on its access point. and the HCP configuration if you are running multiple access point so I suggest use this uh, enable on hierarchical uh, okay and Pool is the HCP test. Next, select access point. Okay, and now the access point is 
enable DHCP. Okay, I think it's done. We can test connect to smart zone test. The password is metprodata.1. Oh, cannot connect. Oh, wait. Okay, I see the lab at the access point is turned from amber to yellow. This means the my laptop is already connected to the access point using 5 gigahertz uh, band. So right now we can check at here, IP config, and here we are. Our lap my laptop is already connected to 192.168.1.18. So, I hope this is informative for you, and thank you for viewing.